Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Brennan Lafferty, joined alongside my co-host, Ronit Sinha. Welcome back to the Littleton High School Tigers Today podcast. I mean, I'm still geeking out over this headset, the studio, everything, man. It's just... Um, view, wow. Viewers at home, obviously. Change of scenery here. Um, we actually didn't even have a scenery before this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we... Didn't have our faces. Um, lots of cords on the table. Very messy, very... Just kind of all put together. But um, Yeah. Well, uh, we'll get into the whole setup in a minute. Start with a little introduction. Um, who are we? Ronnie, you can start. A little so, introduction about yourself. Uh, as we already said, I'm Ronnie Sinha. Um, I play basketball and soccer. And um, anything else? Grade. Um, grade. 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 I'm a senior yeah. at Littleton High School um, on the college hunt. Yes. You know, just as many other people are. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I am I'm also a senior. My name is Brennan Lafferty. I also play soccer, play in the lacrosse team as well um, in the whole college process. Um, I think I can account for a lot of people right now at the school. It's it's pretty challenging, time consuming, you know, especially while finding that balance right. with your personal life um, and just trying to enjoy it all. But and yeah. let's, let's take a quick moment to congratulate Brendan on his Clemson application. Yes, sir. Well, that's, that's, I bet, I bet that's a huge relief. Oh, it is. Get, oh, it is. Get it off your shoulders. Just see that green check mark. Yes, I it know. is. Yeah. So oh, for people at home, um, kind of around this period, November 1st is when most early, um, early action applications are due, um, for college. And basically that's kind of like the first, um, group of applications that the school sees. And it's pretty early for a reason, kind of to try to show like, dedication, extra interest. But the hard part about that is um, bouncing that on a lot of other colleges, Absolutely. college essays, schoolwork, it can be pretty tricky. Um, but yeah, I did just submit mine to Clemson. <laughs> I'm, I'm praying for prayer for that acceptance. But yeah, I got a lot of schools that I'm not fully set on Clemson, you know, but it's definitely, it's definitely a top. It's definitely exciting. Yeah. But November 1st, I think I've got, Ron, how about you? I've got like six or seven schools the application do yeah i've got like eight or nine yeah to do um this weekend's gonna be crucial yeah um, you know just enjoy the process i know after november 1st oh my gosh everything's gonna be like rainbows yeah it's like i'm gonna walk around like the man i know it's like, i think yeah, the the best period of the school year is going to be that november that, december that november the december yeah. and then you got christmas right it's it'll be legit. And then we got basketball. My favorite sport to watch, firstly, is basketball. <laughs> Brendan's uh, more excited to watch basketball than I feel like a decent amount of players are to play. <laughs> it's, He's it's, not wrong. No, but um, I'm very excited to play basketball as well. Yeah, um, we have very high standards. Yeah, that team's gonna be special. Yeah, hundred percent. Marking it now. Yeah, it's gonna be a special team. But um, let's not get too ahead of ourselves because yeah. end of the day, me and Brendan are both wearing. Our Littleton soccer jerseys right now yes, as we have our senior night tonight yes. against yes. Air Shirley. It's a tough game. We are eight, four, and three. Yeah. Doubled our win total from last year. Um and Brendan, who would have thought, you know, yeah. all the I just remember throughout our sophomore junior years, it's the the narrative was when you boys are seniors, it's not gonna look good. Yeah. You boys are gonna win three, mm -hmm. maybe four games. Yeah. You know what I told him? I was just like, I'm just going to bet. I'm just going to bet. <laughs> yeah. Double that already. And, yeah. um, this team's going to hopefully hit our stride just now. Yeah, and I, th I think a big reason why people thought that, I mean, it makes sense, the current junior class. So last year um, on varsity, we didn't have any sophomores that are now juniors. Um, and I think a lot of people thought that since we didn't have any of those sophomores who are current juniors, we, were, we wouldn't have much depth on our team this year. Um, but fortunate enough, the current sophomores, freshman class last year, we have a ton of talent. What a grade. I, they, I think they have so much chemistry. Yeah, they played on the youth team together. I think they've been playing for years now. Um, and that grade is one of the best grades, I think, that has ran through Littleton. Um, definitely up there. 
a lot of skill, but let's just say the future is bright. <laughs> future is going to be bright. The future is going to be bright. Um, I, I do think we have a young team mm. right now, and that's, I think that's kind of what's making it so shocking. Um, it's because it was like we don't have many people in our grade. Yeah. And it's like we don't have many juniors. So the, the, it was like, wow, like where is it going to come from? Mm-hmm, 100%. You know, and, and from every grade, everyone stepped up. Truly. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, it's great to see. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, how about we transition to a little bit of quick introduction of last year? So, obviously, um, we did start this club last year, um, kind of in the spring, going to spring era. Um, me, Ronit, um, Mr. Allen, um, one club of advisor. Yeah, cl- club, club advisor. advisor we wish he was here. Unfortunately, just timing issues yeah. never worked out. He will be here, though, eventually. Hopefully, kind of transitioning to that winter period. Um, but yeah, us three um, came with an idea. Um, I've always been interested personally, yeah. Joe Rogan podcast, pretty much any right. podcast. I've always thought it's pretty cool to just genuine conversation, be on the mic with a couple friends. Um, I always liked that idea. So we were like, you know, Mr. Allen is um, kind of like the videography, photography. He does all those kind of classes. So we, he's the perfect club advisor for it. We decided to come together um, and once a week, um, us and a couple of the guys, sometimes depending on like um, the category we'd have, maybe the football team one week. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes we had a business podcast with some people that did DECA, which is a business club. Yep. Um, and yeah, just good, genuine conversation um, for an hour um, in, the, in during our flex block period. And yeah, we, we, we were going, it was going pretty good, I'd say. Um, until, until uh, yeah. So yeah it's, until someone... We don't know to this day. Um, <laughs> reported our account, did nothing wrong on it, but you know, I think that was secretly a blessing in disguise, yeah. as it redirected us to this <laughs> wonderful venue. Yes. And um, now we're just gonna start to take off. I mean, yeah. And um, so yeah, um, I've I've actually like, it's weird because I've never like said this out loud, but um, I guess I do have like a secret passion for like videography. And just like being on camera, you know, like yeah. my brother loves photography. I've yeah. always had a secret like appreciation of like things mm-hmm. that are visually pleasing like that. Yeah. yeah. So um, I guess that's kind of how I sparked some interest in wanting to do a podcast club with yeah. Brendan. And um, yeah. No. So. Yeah. No. My my brother as well. Um, my brother, shout out L two Visuals. Too. Yeah, a photographer and videographer. Um, he films lacrosse. Um, and yeah, I, I definitely, I can agree with Ron. I've always kind of had a liking for being on camera. Um, I love photography. I think it's really cool. But yeah, definitely. I kind of love the whole podcast idea. But yeah, we we were posting on um, Spotify. Spotify. We were posting on Spotify. I think we were four, five, six episodes and Count unfortunately um, got banned, but yeah, this is a new era. I'd like to give a special thanks to Mr. Crory, who's currently, there currently, it there it is, <laughs> currently on the yeah. audio and the videography work right now. But he he's making all this possible. Um, I would also like to give us yeah, also give a special thanks to um, Tom Glorioso, I believe. Sorry yeah. if I said the last name wrong. For building this masterpiece of a studio, it's really beautiful. It couldn't really have been better timing. Um, I think so. Basically, um, a girl from our school, Brooklyn Lindsay, who is our editor for the podcast club, um, was told Ron at one time, and you can explain the story. But Brooklyn was telling you about how Mr. Crory and all the LCTV, she's doing an internship with them, and she said that there's a new podcast studio, and we were like, "That's perfect. School year starting back up." Yeah, um, I'm gonna be honest. I never knew this was a place, so <laughs> I'd always known. People would tell me like, oh, there is a podcast studio in Littleton. Like, you guys should go there. I always thought that was like a myth. This, this is a mythical place. Like, yeah. When are we ever going to get our hands on this? 100%. Like, so I never really bought it until uh, Brooklyn actually had connections with LCTV. She already had her email, uh, she already had her email up. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I remember you guys did Podcast Club. I don't know what happened with that, but yeah. If you wanted to take the space, I could just give you Mr. Curry's email. Yeah. 
And um, yeah, things are from there. And I believe um, it was crazy. Like all this stuff came in. I believe Mr. Corey said all, all this stuff came in on the day we had the visit here. Yeah, it was like couldn't be crazier timing. And, yeah, um, that's just how I know it's it's gonna the stars are aligning. And um, so yeah, um, even like we have new roles. Uh, people have reached out to us for new roles. So shout out to Brooklyn, um, our new video editor, and Aria, um, another person who's reached out to us to be our um, business outreach coordinator. Sick. Wonderful title. <laughs> Wonderful title to have. And, yeah. Um, and we are yeah. we are still plenty of, um, pl- I, I'm sure more positions will open up in the future so don't think that our committee is still still growing and that's the whole point you know to to get it out to as many people as possible i remember even like just people on the show like for example mr allen mr allen's a hilarious guy you guys will love him uh he he brings his own flair to the podcast 100 percent. you know and um yeah just to get other people on here i think um we already talked about it but like to talk about those different topics you know it'll be Share the love. Yeah. Let let some other people get in this chair. Hundred percent. This is so surreal. Like, I know. It's crazy. Like my hearing's gotten so much better. Yeah. Like it's wow. Yeah. Oh. So for um we will repost all those episodes. Um hopefully when you're seeing this video, um audio obviously this will be posted on Spotify. We are also going to make a YouTube channel. Um we have an Instagram account. Yep. The uh I believe I already forgot the title, but um, you'll see you'll see a picture of us in our profile picture. Yeah, um, believe it's just LHS Podcast we'll, Club. We'll put on the screen right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, that I trying to be, that might look. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, that, that might look a little worse than I anticipated. Oh I, um, That's yeah. Leave that to Brooklyn the video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but we're um, we're gonna post on hopefully all those platforms, yeah. um, and yeah, we kind of plan to do the same thing that we did the previous years. Um, definitely get groups of people for certain categories. Um, we are also looking um, to maybe get potential sponsorships. Um, we are currently Absolutely. in the works of trying to get our first couple. Um, if you are watching this, small business owner. It. Yeah. Please. Yeah, we are uh, We're very interested in having some type of sponsorship, partnership. Just let us know. Um, but yeah, we are. We have couple episodes planned with certain sponsorships if we get them but i think uh to say the future the future is definitely bright absolutely yeah absolutely. this the space is crazy i know you guys obviously can't see because you just can see the studio i, I wish i really wish you guys could see this whole place i remember me and brendan's genuine reaction literally jaw dropping it just sounds like i'm glazing right now but yeah like you just have to be here it's yeah. it's remarkable yeah so um yeah, no, but um, a lot of things to come in the future, a lot of things tonight, a lot of things in general for Littleton Podcast Club. Yeah. I think this won't be a one-month thing. It won't be a we'll try it out and um, yeah. dip after it doesn't do well. I think this, oh, I mean, fingers crossed. Yeah. You never know what happens. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm but, excited. Yeah, no, I'm excited too. Just very grateful for the space. Um, it's awesome. So maybe we can kind of transition to a little bit in the future. Um, how about we dive a little more into the game tonight? Big game. We already talked about it. But the boys soccer team are playing Ayer Shirley. Mm-hmm. Tough opponent. Really, really tough opponent. Um, I think uh, this is a pretty big point in the season. I think we start out the season pretty huge. We were 2-0 at one point. Um, beat Tejanto and Quabin. Um it was 4-1, 4-0 in those games. And then we kind of had a little bit of a rough stretch. Our league is very talented this year, mm-hmm. um, with especially with um, Tingsboro, Maynard, and Bromfield. Those are kind of the big three this year. Um, and, yeah, I think we won a, a three-game losing streak, which was rough. Um, but yet again, our team was still – we were still in the early phase of the season. Um a lot we, we did a lot to learn and we definitely came together a lot since um and then i think we ever since we've definitely been on the come up i think after we lost to those three teams um we ended up tying maynard which in the first game 
we lost to them 6-1. Yeah. So we ended up tying them uh, the next time we played them because we play every team twice in our league. Um, we ended up tying Bromfield, who we lost to 3-1 originally. Yeah. And then Tingsboro, who we lost to 5-2 the first time. We unfortunately lost to them again 3-0. Um, but they're extremely talented team, like I said. But I just think that um, the culture is a little bit different this year on this team. Um, I think that overall, just the intensity in practice and games, there's more of an urgency. Um, and I think that comes from, I think there's a lot more leadership this year on the team all around. I think that previous years, there's more, there was only a couple people that, um, that could be looked up to, but I think this year, the leadership is much more spread throughout the team. I think you can probably agree to that. We have, yeah. I think um, a big thing is continuity and chemistry. Mm -hmm. um, like we already previously said, I think that sophomore class, five of them are really talented. Six, they mm -hmm. all have had chemistry since fourth grade. So yeah. when they when they're all on the field with us, like we already have more than half the lineup with insane chemistry. Exactly. So I think. Um, just like passing, like even in practice, having a laugh, like those guys have chemistry. 100%. You know, we might have a little less personality. Mm -hmm. You know, there's definitely a little less, I'd say less swagger and personality to this team. But yeah. um, this team gets <laughs> yeah. the job done. Um, yeah. Might be a quieter team. But I think, yeah, as you said, the leadership is uh, more spread out. And, um, yeah, I think things are – I think um, midseason was really a wake-up call mm -hmm. to how we were approaching things. I, like, early in the season, we were winning games big. You yeah. know, thought we could walk over teams, mm -hmm. played a couple good teams, yeah. got walked on. Yeah. So, you know, every season you're going to face adversity. And I think, um, especially with a group, as a leader, I mean, everyone's a leader on this team. Like, I've always, I always believe in that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but to face that adversity of just um, knowing that we're, we what were we like two and we lost three games in a row. Yeah, we were we were two and three. So that, like that was... knowing that we had a quieter team and like it was, it, I knew that was my main focus. It was to just get them back on track. Yeah, you know, and just yeah, it's it's crazy. It is... This team has the talent. It's, yeah. It was really just mental. Yeah, and once we got the mentality fixed, eight, four, and three, just yeah. like that. Eight, know? four, and three, which to some is absurd. Actually, I had a old friend of the team today text me. Um, yeah, and <laughs> I've, got, I've got a couple old messages. As yeah, well. yeah, yeah, and he was just like, "I've kind of been keeping up with your team." Um, like, wow, like this is impressive. Um, and obviously, four, eleven, and three something last year, something like that. Yeah. yeah four, it's definitely a shocker the sum that were on the team last year. I completely understand. Mm -hmm. I think, besides the record, the craziest thing is that it's October 24th. October 24th. I feel like this whole fall has just gone by so fast. No. My, uh, it's my senior soccer season. It's gone by so yeah. fast. It's senior night tonight, which is crazy. Oh, it's my senior night, bro. <laughs> like, I'm so used to being the underclassman that plays for the seniors that mm -hmm. would give it all out because you don't want the seniors feeling bad. Yeah. And now it's it's like it's coming back towards me, yeah. so it's it's definitely it hasn't fully hit me yet. Um, I think on the field it will. Yeah, I think afterwards, win or lose, um, yeah. we'll definitely feel it more. It's but, it's, it's crazy. Man, it's crazy. Four years almost to an end. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, we obviously we know it's going to happen, mm -hmm. but can't really predict emotions or. Anything like that. Yeah. I'd say that I've grateful. I've had I've had a great experience um on the team. I think uh high school sports for some can be traumatizing. <laughs> I think that a lot yeah. of people have bad experiences, okay. but I've had very nice coaches, great teammates. Um I think Littleton just being such a small town, um, I think that there's just an extra bit of chemistry. I remember when when I moved here yeah. and uh in seventh grade um, tryouts, I remember I was friends within the first practice with everybody. And those friends are the ones that I'm playing with today. Yeah. Um, 
and yeah, it's just, I think when you move to, especially I moved from, I used to live in uh, Ridgewood, New Jersey, shout out Ridgewood, my old town, it's wow. where I was made, um, really, it was a really big town, I think I had, my middle school, I think was about 600 kids, 600, 700, 800 kids. That's bigger than our high school. Bigger than our high so. school. My my middle school was bigger than Littleton High School. Yeah. Um, I think we had two or three middle schools that combined to one high school. So my high school had a roughly, you know, 2,000, maybe a little bit more than that. Yeah. But I think definitely coming from that big outer, um, like that, the the bigger school aspect coming into smaller school like Littleton, it's definitely, definitely a change of scenery. Yeah. But I, I think that... Um, the one difference is that like everyone has that core group and you you're tight with that core group and you're going to be tight with that core group through the full four years because Littleton, we only have one, we've one, we've one middle school, one elementary school, we have one school for each. Um, and it just, you, there's no like multiple middle schools that are filling into one. You stay with that same class the whole way through. So. Yeah. I couldn't imagine the sports atmosphere. I mean, mm -hmm. at a school that big, that would be, Ridgewood, imagine, like, I've seen some Ridgewood edits yeah. on high school sports. It looks incredible. Yeah. I think um, you got to take the good with the bad. I think, like you said, with this tight-knit community, mm -hmm. even though we have, like, obviously less people coming, Yeah. everyone that comes we know and we have a great connection with. 100%. So I think that's definitely very meaningful. Yeah. But it would also, like, like, having that other environment where it's just – packed stance like yeah in a big like that would be there there are pros and cons for like, sure there like that would be so sure. fun to be a part of and um yeah yeah i i'm um me personally i'm applying to a lot of big state yeah. schools obviously clemson um james madison it's where my brother goes um maryland university of maryland yeah. university of indiana so i'm obviously i'm trying to get away kind of from the smaller school aspect but i feel that I say it now like I'm done with this small town. I know that when I come back, I think I'm going to appreciate it a little bit more, Absolutely. you know, because I think that when I come, like obviously my brother was at college, he just came back for his fall break and just to see him and his boys who went to high school together. Um, I don't know. It's just a, it's just a different like yeah. level of like love. I feel like I feel like they appreciate it more and I feel like I'm going to appreciate it more yeah. when I get back. I've always kind of um, tried to like spend time saying like, Oh, I hate this. I, I kind of like forced myself to hate it because it was this town. Yeah. Because it was like, oh, like, what is there to do here? There's not even a McDonald's. Like, <laughs> like only thing we have here is a point. There's nothing to do. There's only like 400 kids in my school. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna get away, like, and live a better life. But it's also like, you come back here. You, like, I I've made a lot of memories since here. I moved here in third grade. 100%. Um, I made a lot of core friends. Had just great relationships all around that have made me who I am now. Yeah. And it's like Littleton's always going to have uh, a big piece in my heart, regardless of the size or like mm -hmm. none of that stuff yeah. matters as much as I thought or like I forced myself to say. So definitely yeah. um going to miss parts of Littleton yeah. as it was huge in my journey. Yeah. Where did you, where did you move from again? Back. So Nashua, New Hampshire. I was <laughs> <laughs> born in Nash. <laughs> Sorry, it's not that I, funny. It's not that funny. I always no. I always say I was born on the wrong side of Nashua to like <laughs> scare people, and that's why I, I think that's where the reaction's coming from. Yeah. Um. So uh, to say, like, basically, don't mess with me. I'm from the wrong side of Nashua. And, like, <laughs> people are like, oh. Well, but I, um, no, I was actually on the good side of Nashua. Um, no, I, was, I was in a nice condo. <laughs> um, great neighbors. I love uh, the condo. No, it, it's man. It was. I lived there for the first eight years of my life. Um, my brother at the time was in seventh grade, so the transition for him was a lot harder because he grew up there. Whereas me, it's just like really early in my childhood. I could easily exactly. So that's, that's actually, like, I I got that like I I was a I'm a big or I should say I was. I was a big copycat brother. I would mm -hmm. do a lot of things that my older brother would do. Yeah. And so when he would like, he didn't very like Littleton. He didn't like Littleton that much because mm -hmm. he didn't have much time in Littleton yeah. to really get settled in, you know? 
so it's like i was like all right then like i don't like littleton now Mm -hmm. like yeah yeah, yeah. there's nothing here like come on yeah exactly i grew up elementary school middle school high school and just it was great yeah yeah no nashua is if any of you guys haven't been there nashua is like malls shops nashville's food, got nashville's yeah. the whole deal man it is you know? the, it is the and, whole and that's the other thing i miss about like potentially being in nashville i don't know if you feel the same way about ridgewood it's what i said earlier i see the school like for sports it's a d1 it's a d1 school mm-hmm. yeah, yeah those like i've seen the basketball courts it's packed soccer games packed mm-hmm. it is like man i it would be i do i do think about it every now and then like man like what would it be like playing on that sports team? Yeah. But. And I, I actually, I, I think about that a lot too. And I also think that um, Jersey, I feel like just bigger schools in general, there's a bigger pool of kids that usually means that sports yeah. are going to be more competitive. Um, and I think you compare a place which is like big schools in New Jersey or New York, um, yeah. huge schools compared to small Littleton or small Massachusetts, excuse me, high schools. It's a whole, it's a whole different vibe, and I sometimes wonder to myself, like, yeah, like obviously, it'd be bigger environment, yeah. bigger fan sections. At the same time, like, what would I be if I'd stayed in the big town? What if, what would yeah. you be if you stayed in like Nashua? The whole sports yeah. culture is different. Every everything would be different. I don't even know if I'd be starting on my old school's team. It's it's all like yeah. A, no, I've that's a very good point. Even also like Nashua, at the time was very like there's a lot of, there was a huge Indian population so a lot of my friends happened to be Indian mm-hmm. and um that's what I grew up on for the first eight years of my life I come to Littleton third grade and I am the only Indian kid yeah. and I'm like like this is not real mm-hmm. like <laughs> yeah. I was like what is going on here yeah. but um yeah definitely a huge culture shock and like just going from big to small, similar to how you went, and um, but it was very, it was a very smooth transition for me. Yeah. Um, actually, that third grade class was pretty menacing. <laughs> Casey, Tanner, Ethan King, Ugh. you know, all of them beating you up front in your first year. And yeah. You're like, I. It was not like that. Yeah. In Nashua, but well, um, those boys know exactly who they no, are. No, no, no. I I love those boys, but um, yeah. yeah no, it's totally different, and um. Yeah, I, I wanted to go, going back to Nashville one more time. Nashville obviously has like all big shops, malls, yeah. everything. I think the Nashua shopping center of Littleton is the point, obviously. Yeah. I want to touch on the point for a little bit. When I moved to Littleton, the point is everything. And yeah. middle schoolers that are probably if they are listening to this right now, like they know it's the thing. And the point was and still is. Pretty cool. Still is, I, I remember, mean, yeah. yeah, like half day. We have a lot of half days here at Guaranteed Littleton. Guaranteed point visit. Guaranteed point visit. Guaranteed Moe's. Gotta, lo- gotta love some Moe's. Yeah. Um, it's- yeah, and that was part of the thing. Like in Nashville, you have Chick fil A, mm-hmm. you have all the things, and you think that's there everywhere. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's what I thought when I was a kid. I come here, I'm like, mom's go to McDonald's. There, you gotta go to Westford. I'm like, where? And that's what <laughs> everyone like, be going to Westford. Like, yeah, like you Westford. drive 10 minutes. And you're in another town. Mm. That was not the case. Yeah. In, in New Hampshire. Like you drive another ten minutes, you're in a different town. Yeah. You're just like that's why uh, I, I just found it very interesting and mm-hmm. weird oh, yeah. that like there were so many towns. Like I didn't know that also I was very I didn't know how towns worked. I thought everything was like a city. Yeah. yeah so yeah. like but now, I think I think that the point though, like compared to the Nashville, obviously, like there's just not I think it, there is, there's, in my opinion, there's just not a lot of, like, di- like diversity, just shop, like, just thinking, like, shops-wise and food-wise. Like, I feel like there's not enough, I think, I, there might, there, there is some type of, like, law that you can't have, like, drive throughs in Littleton. Don't know if that's true. Think about it. Apparently, apparently, there's a law that you can't I mean, there, have I any, guess there, I any had, drive-thrus in Littleton. There Think about it. a drive through Think about it. But so. I feel like we, we got to get some more fast food going, you know? I mean, the closest thing to fast food, I feel like, might be Moe's, maybe Starbucks. But right. give me a Chick-fil-A. Give me a Dave's and Hot Chicken. Give me, me a Popeye's. Let me touch like. upon this, man. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I've been lied to. I was told last year, 
that Popeyes was coming to the point. That's generational, <laughs> as the point is the only thing that this town has to like as a common hangout place. Yeah. You add, in my opinion, this is controversial to some people, mm. a top two fast food place in Popeyes, best chicken sandwich in the game up there with Chick Fil A. You add that to the point. I'm there every day. You yeah. will find me there every. Every day. high schooler is there every, every day. day. Every middle schooler, parents. You, I think Littleton needs, and I agree. I think, don't know if I agree with the Popeyes. I have yet, I haven't tried it yet, but I think it's that life changing, yeah. <laughs> it's mouth watering. The biscuit, oh man, it's everything. The whole meal. I think the point could definitely use something like that, and who knows Absolutely. if that's in the works, but definitely something. I think also some yeah. more, not even food wise, some more attraction. Obviously, at the um, the farther you go up to the point, you can find O'Neill Theater. Metro Rock, which are two great places, but I think that and O'Neill Theater, man, yeah. that's something. Yeah, like, no, it's it, it is quality. Best it's, theater I've been to. I've been to. I'm a big movie guy. I go around. Yeah, O'Neill's is yeah. very good, and I'm proud to say that. Yeah, it's it's the first theater um, that I ever was in where you could re- actually recline the seat. Really? Yeah, it's first ever. First ever. I yeah. So up until seventh grade, you've never been in a reclining seat. Nope. In the theater. Never. That's ridiculous. Yeah, no, it's wow. it's guys. If you haven't been there, you have to go. It, it makes the experience. So and they much got better. extra but they got extra butter on their popcorn. <laughs> so I mean, that's a factor. That's yeah. absolutely a factor. It's good though. Yeah, oh. but I think definitely adding some other type of attraction. Maybe like, uh, give me a Sky Zone. I love Ooh. Sky Zone, guys. That's a good shout, guys. You don't understand like Sky Zone top mm. three birthday parties. Anytime there's a Yo, birthday take party, take out the the rock climbing for that. Measure rock, yeah. I know. Like I, I, I've like, never been. Maybe I can't hate because I've never been rock climbing. Rock no, climbing. Yeah. I know some people love rock climbing, mm-hmm. but I think the majority of Littleton, if you told them we're replacing a rock climbing with Sky Zone, no one's disappointed. No one. No is one's disappointed. disappointed. It doesn't yeah. matter how old you are, too. Yeah. It's like, just that yeah. After a while, like. I do love rock climbing. A lot of my friends, I think our grade really got into it end of yeah, last year. Great. And I think it's really fun. But I think just after a while, you know, it can get a little repetitive. Might be a hot take. But I just think that adding some other type of attraction could definitely be. And there's space. Like, yeah, I used to think that was the problem. We didn't have enough space. But yeah, like, like there's enough room in that like back area. There's like. So there's like the main part of the point where it's like Market Basket and the Moe's mm-hmm. and like all the ones that you would normally go to. Yeah. And then there's another space that's like there. And then there's another space that is O'Neill. Yeah. This space can be utilized so much better. 100%. It can be utilized so much better. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. There, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff to fill. I think like, and, yeah. and they got rid of, now this is a throwback. Let me, I think I know. And I know you're going to, why did they remove the party? Why did they remove the party city? I know. That was really good. Yeah. That's one of the, the bright spots that the town had. I, I had never actually been inside of it. Oh. But no. don't get me wrong, I do love a good party city. Party I, city was I think yeah. that like Party City, um, Spirit Halloween, shout out Spirit mm-hmm. Halloween. I'm there every year. But I think that like those types of places like started to shut down. I think Toys R Us too. Um to- <laughs> Shout out Matter X. Um, Toys R Us, um, those started to shut down. I think like it was like three, three, four years ago. But like I think all those party, those seasonal, I guess, places, party season too seasonal, but like um, I think all those places started to shut down. I, that might be why Party City shut Can down in chewing? Littleton. I don't know though. But Can you hear me chewing? No, no, it's not that bad. It's not bad. Mr. Corey's laughing over there. He's like, I can definitely hear on it <laughs> chewing his Matter X oh, right now. I wanted to test it out. Yeah. But sorry. I, no, was, yeah. I was not listening to you. No, no, no. I, I was just saying how, like... Still not fully. It was, that was a big bite. I don't know why I took that big of a bite. No, it's, <laughs> it's fine. I was just saying, like, Party City, maybe it's in kind of, like, like Spirit Halloween and Toys yeah. R Us. Those all started shutting down. Maybe that fills into, like, that category. But maybe they'll bring it back. I don't know. I, I heard that 50... Yo, I might need a fact check on this, but I think it's, like, $50,000 to start your own Chick-fil-A... Anyone wants to? I'll pitch in a couple grand. <laughs> it's it's nice. No, it's, but, it's um. I want to see like 
and if anything does happen, because again, this is our last year for seniors. Yeah, yeah. So like, it'll be crazy. Like, imagine if that Popeyes does come or that Chick Fil A does come. Yeah. And we're back in town for like that three day weekend. Yeah. And you just see that, like that would be. Because yeah, because Littleton, um, I think Littleton is like evolving a lot right now. I think um, they're building a ton of homes. They just yeah. built a lot of at- apartments right by, um, right like literally right by here. It's yeah. kind of by that church. I don't know the specific place, yeah. but they're making a ton of new houses. Um, and I think they there's a huge like with the point. It's right off the highway. I think Littleton is a big. It's a pretty popular place. Like it's a good place to live right now. And I think that Littleton's going to keep on growing. And I think adding some of those more mainstream places, like fast food restaurants, stuff like that. Right. I think that'll definitely um, boost like just make Littleton better overall. And actually, yeah. I think that I was talking to a teacher about this um, last week. I think Littleton is, it's in the works. Don't know if this confirmed, but grade sizes keep on getting bigger and bigger um, in the middle school, I've heard. And I don't know if it's in the works or not, but I think eventually, you know, Littleton might be expanding. Um, and I remember, I think, I think the, this were, this building, by the way, it, guys, is in the old library um, or the, Town Hall, right? Town Hall slash old yeah. library. Yeah. Um, obviously, across the street, Ruben Hoare, that library. You can get into that in a second. Yeah. Gorgeous. Great. But, um, yeah, I uh, I think this was the old high school. I think, was it? I think this was the old high school. I don't I, know my town's history yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, I probably yeah. should. I think this no. was the old high school. And, obviously, too many people get bigger. I think the high school, I think eventually we're going to have to expand. I don't know. I think so. Yeah, we've got a lot of room back there. A lot I, by the fields, you know, maybe a little extension. True. I mean, that's hard for me to imagine to see the school expanding. Yeah, I, I can. Know. I can um, also, like, I remember my parents' big reasoning for to moving here was because of the schooling. Yes. We the high-ranking yeah, yeah, yeah. schooling. And to touch upon your point earlier, if you combine this, this great schooling system yeah. with – couple of attractions it's golden like yeah. we'll get tons of opportunities to just, just to spread the town yeah the school the schooling system bigger. is great here it's 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 very good yeah. um yeah i all my teachers have always been very good um i think that though there is obviously the small school system yeah. the ratio obviously is great of teachers to students i don't know what it is specifically but most of my classes have been pretty small, I would say. But that also comes with the cost, not having as many teachers. There's a lot of classes offered at other schools that yeah. Littleton does not have. Exactly. And I think, exactly. obviously, my, I'm, in, I'm in my senior year. And last year, too, um, AP, there's a lot of AP classes. And those more upperclassmen take those than underclassmen. I think Littleton um, doesn't offer that many. It's not like they... They can't really offer it's more. It's not much yet. they can do. It's not much it's they can do. Yeah. But. Which, and most of the time, if an AP class isn't offered at the high school, a lot of kids turn to VHS. Gosh. Yeah, well, Ron, what VHS class are you taking I'm right now? I'm in VHS CSA, Computer Science Advanced. Mm. I'm not a coder. Um, <laughs> that's not my calling. I took CSP the year prior with Brendan and a lot of my other friends. Yeah. Um, man, what a class that was. Mm. That is truly one of a kind. Um, I don't even know if I can tell you guys all the stories yeah. that we've had in CSP. But um, over the course of that year, I have gained zero knowledge in computer science. <laughs> and I come into senior year taking the more advanced version. I mean... C- and CSA com- is like known as like... Like we're stepping up, like we're yeah, we're like, we're again. CSP also is known as one of the easiest AP classes. I just think that's just yeah. a general opinion. Like yep. it kind of is in there with like AP macroeconomics, which we can get into in a second. Yeah. But it's definitely one, known as one of the easier, slower paced AP classes. Yeah. Yeah. No, I thought it was a really fun experience. Um, I realized I'm glad I took it, but I realized I am not a coder. <laughs> I, I'm more of, definitely more of a people person. I can't sit in front of my Absolutely. computer for hours. And, just... and I knew that, too. 
<laughs> I do that, and I was just like, I got to take it for that extra AP. I know a lot of people take an AP for the extra GPA boost. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a common thought to mm. in a lot of people's minds. Yeah. But, um, you know, Mr. Camo had that talk. I talked with Mr. Camo in the summer. Shout out, Mr. Camo, if you're watching this, by the way. Hopefully, this gets to some of the faculty. You yeah. Know, yeah. That's the goal. Shout out, Mr. Know. Harrington. Mr. Harrington yeah. for letting us start for, this club. Yes, for giving us the approval of this club. You know, and um, I was talking to Mr. Camo, and he told me up front, he's like, with what you want to do, it makes no sense to do CSA. Yeah. And you should take another business class on VHS. And I looked at him, and I was like, nah, like, I'm taking that extra AP. Yeah. And I and I regret it now. It's really hard. Yeah. Like, but, um, you know. But, I mean, you know, it's. VHS frustrates me so much. Yeah, it's VHS. a painful thing to use. Yeah. You know, Virtual high school. Nothing wrong with the teachers. You know, my teacher myself is is extremely nice. Yeah. Obviously, I've never talked to her, but yeah. She's she's been very nice. Yeah, it uh my parents when I was trying to when I was telling them I was interested in taking a VHS class because VHS does offer a lot of diverse classes. Yeah. Um a lot of classes that Littleton would never even like go near teaching. I'm taking an entrepreneurship class. Um, and then in the spring, I'm taking a marketing class. But my parents did warn me, and a lot of people warned me. It is like, if you like, I like personally learning in person. I like having yeah. a teacher, you know, do notes with me. I can ask questions. Yeah. Uh, it's VHS is nothing like that. And I knew that. So I knew what I was signing up for. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much, there's no, there's no, depending on the course you take, but most VHS classes, there is no, actual live teacher basically you get a week you get a week load of work mm -hmm. and then you know it's they run a tuesday to uh tuesday the wednesday schedule wednesday the new classes start um tuesday all the work is due and yeah like the class i'm taking is interesting but i do have a lot of questions and if i have to you know um get a question answered i have the email and that can t you gotta wait like it's just it's not yeah, yeah. Not ideal. Not, Not ideal. my way of learning. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I knew what I was signing up for. Yeah. Senior year, and um, I was always told my junior year would be the hardest year. Mm -hmm. Boy, oh, boy, do I disagree with that take. Mm -hmm. um, and I think also part of that is because Littleton has less classes. So a lot of people from a lot of friends that I know from other towns, yeah. they've taken those classes in their junior year. Yeah. So it was, it was harder for them, but really it's the same thing. But Yeah, no, definitely. Um, I mean, obviously I made it harder for myself. I didn't start my the whole college process oh, really yeah. until late August, which for some people that's normal. I th what I thought was normal, but for some people may call me crazy. I think the, the Common App, for people that don't know, is basically the resource that most schools and all the colleges use to get your information um, essays about you, um, your grades, your transcripts, all that good stuff. Most schools use the Comet app. Um, so for people out there, maybe that are current juniors, um, definitely get a star on that. I think the Comet app opened up August 1st, sometime in the summer. Get star on that. Start planning, you know, have a really good idea of what you're going to write your essay about before the school year starts because the school year, yeah, it's senior year, but you got hard classes, you know. You got some people might play sports. Yeah. It can be a lot. It's tough. Um, but yeah, I. Well, if you, if you think you're behind, kid, I'm. I can assure you, I'm farther behind because my plan was, and another big thing that wasn't mentioned was the SAT, SAT and ACT, whatever you choose. Um, I went with the SAT, which turns out, I chose the wrong one. Yeah. Um, as you know, you guys might know the SAT is now digital. Mm. which really screwed me over. Yeah. Um, I spent the whole summer and uh, September pretty much studying for the SAT yeah. entirely, and then I was like, I'll focus on my college apps afterwards. Yeah. And backfired, didn't do well on it, very unbalanced, Yeah. and I lost those two months where I could have done some college stuff. But yeah. uh, it, was worth, everything. it was worth the gamble, because if it did pay off, I would be in prime position. Yeah. But... Yeah, yeah, but yeah. No. Like Brendan said, do not push those off. Yeah, don't push them off. I'm about to feel that pressure this weekend. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So, uh, hopefully, 
the Never next know. time we talk with you guys, Rana and I, hopefully have, you know, a good amount of some more college apps done. Um, like we said, we're going to start, you know, getting some more people on next next podcast. Hopefully we'll have definitely have some guests. Hopefully um, Mr. Allen will be able to join us. But um, yeah, we're, we're excited for the future of this podcast. Absolutely. Um, yet again, thank you, Mr. Crory and yeah. LCTV for letting us use this space. This is just the beginning, guys. We got up. Yes, but yeah, that about wraps it up. Yeah. Uh, wish us luck behind the screen in our game tonight, on senior night, and um, we will get more people coming and more topics to talk about. Yeah. So, well, you know, yeah. Good to get the first one under the belt, right? Yeah, no, just, yeah. just a little, uh, you guys, introduction. Yeah. What are we planning to do? You guys can get to know Ron and I a little yeah. bit more. Um, you know, just Littleton overall. Yeah. Now that you guys have kind of got that information, um, we'll start getting to some more niches yes, and uh, topics. Let's yeah. Make, let's make Littleton great. Yes, sir. You know, blow this up. Let's go. Let's go. All righty. Um, but that about concludes it. Tigers today, episode one, signing off. We will see you guys in the next one.